Welcome to this week's edition of Tech Tips. This week, I'll be covering a second option on how to frame a chase wall. Uh, some of you might call it a party wall, a mitoyen wall, a demising wall. I'm going to go over a second option on how to frame these walls using MWF. Uh, now, last week, I covered a uh, first option uh, where we have um, one top track, one bottom track, one end stud, and then, you know, two rows of studs along that uh, mitoyen wall. Um, so if you remember from last week, uh, we had a wall here that uh, had more than one structural layer, and I uh, emphasize the importance for MWF uh, to work properly. You're actually going to need one structural layer, so you're going to have to do some housekeeping here. Um, I invite you to look at that video. And I have already done that here, and I've just added a suffix uh, called uh, MWF. Uh, to know that there's one structural layer in this wall, and I'll show you that here, right here. And what we're going to do now is we're going to frame this using um, a second option where you actually require two independent um, panels in the same wall. So uh, you can achieve this by <clears throat> simply um, putting one of those uh, panels on the structural face interior and the second panel in the structural face exterior and you'll have two independent uh, panels in that same wall. Now um, another way to do it is actually instead of having one wall you can draw two independent walls so you know two two by six walls that are uh, one inch apart you can certainly do it that way uh, but if you don't want to you know mess around with that wall and just have that one wall what you can do is you know just put two independent panels and I'll show you how to do that. So we're going to take this one wall, uh, we're going to come in here, and we're going to create a panel. We're going to use our default template, which is wood here, which uses the 2 by 6 uh, size as a default. We're going to set it as active, close, and we're going to hit create. And here we're going to change the justification from wall center line. We're not going to put it on the structural center line. We're actually going to put it here on the structural face exterior. And we can say OK here. Then with the wall still highlighted, we're going to hit Create again. We're going to hit Create. And this time we're going to choose structural face interior. And we're going to hit OK. And there you have it, two independent panels in the same wall. You'll see it here in 3D. If you require to have um, two independent panels where you have uh, two distinct top plates, two distinct bottom plates, and two end studs at each end, uh, this would be the method that you choose. And if you wanted to stagger them like I did last week, what you can do is actually take any one of these uh, panels. So let me go ahead and take this one here. And we're going to go into its properties. And what we're going to do to be able to stagger them is simply come in here into the structural tab here, change that first stud offset to eight inches. We're going to say OK here. We're going to see these stagger. There we go. And we can start dimensioning. So DI from the start here, first stud. And then here we have the 16 inch on center. But from here to here, we have that H at eight inches so that they are staggered evenly um, to, the, to, to the end of the wall. And they're staggered. So if you wanted to uh, ensure more of a uh, sound barrier, you could do it this way. And that's how you achieve it with uh, MWF, simply just taking one. And um, you can use um, benchmarks as we did in that first video, but you can also just take that um, first set offset and offset it by eight inches and everything will follow through. So there you have it, a second way of framing a chase wall using MWF. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time on Tech Tips.